Put this weight on your left hand and throw this overhand right. Oh, Hopkins beat him to the punch, though. You know, George, Trinidad has landed some big shots, but he hasn't hurt Hopkins. After the Duffy fight, there seemed to be no question about Trinidad's viability as a 160-pound fighter, a middleweight. But maybe the question reopens itself as a result of the weight that Hopkins has been able to take Trinidad's punches tonight. Oh, it's not all about that. Hopkins has been extremely smart tonight. Extremely smart. Trinidad is spending a lot of himself right here because he's been taking punishment. We're seeing a RG1 of a real champion in Trinidad because he's come through some serious fire. This is the determination of Felix Trinidad. Trinidad is going to have to take some chances. And if you want to manage the fight, the determination of Bernard Hopkins, what an awesome show. What a great, great fight as we come down the stretch in the pet round. Blood coming out of Trinidad's nose. Most of the crowd on its feet as they watch the two fighters trade through the round and beyond. And Trinidad almost looks out on his Tito can get up. He's got the desire. He's never been knocked out. This fight is over. The winner by way of technical knockout tonight, earning his place in boxing history as he is now the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Bernard, the executioner, Hopkins. The former super bantamweight world champion, former featherweight world champion, and former super featherweight champion of the world, Damas y Caballeros de la Zona Norte de Tijuana, Mexico, Eric El Terrible Morales. Former flyweight champion of the world, former Super flyweight champion of the world, the reigning and defending WBC International Super Featherweight Champion, Manny Heckman Pacquiao. I don't know about you, Larry, but the kind of women I know love this stuff. Will it be a boxing match? Will it be a brawl? Will it be a little of both? As he nearly stands his ground in the middle of the ring and takes a right hook from Manny Pacquiao, who was so much better with his right hand in the second fight than in the first. Another right hook lands. Manny goes to the punch so far. And Morales countering with a right hand that knocks Manny back. Yeah. And Morales again countering properly upstairs. And Pacquiao comes back with his own assault. And yeah. both fighters' crowds are on their feet. Pacquiao crowd chanting, Manny, Manny, Manny. Morales, who landed some good right hands in the first fight, tried to drive Pacquiao back with right hands there, but Manny comes back with a torrent of punches from his own. Packed house, and of course you have Jab by Morales, sweeping right hand partially blocked. Now Pacquiao lands a right and a left, and another right hook.
and a left hand over the top. The sheer aggression of Manny. He looks so strong and so sturdy as compared to Morales. Even though Morales is landing, he seems to be still uncoordinated as compared to... Down goes Morales on a Pacquiao right hand. Left. 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 And, and, and Morales thought that he had Pacquiao in the uh, Yeah, he got over. He got overexcited, overextended himself, and left himself open. Pacquiao again landing his straight left hand. Morales chases him and lands the right. They trade punches at the rope. And when they trade punches, Morales takes a gamble with Pacquiao's strength and power. Pacquiao is a two-to-one favorite in this fight. So far, justifying the odds. And unlike some punches, Manny does have head movement. Yeah, that was a, a, almost a little mission of a little Aaron Proud. We punch it about him and comes up on top. Eric Morales, not afraid to fight with one of the most dangerous punches in the sport. Some men walk over hot coals. A right hook, a punch that... Hard right hand, Stun right. Morales. Pacquiao's all over him. Thinks he's got a chance. He's Morales slightly staggered after that last left hand. And down he goes. Solid left hand shot by yeah. Pacquiao, who did not like Morales saying that he didn't hurt him with punches in the second fight. It's hard to That's imagine right. how Morales can last long against this. Well, until he goes out, he's going to be fighting all the way down. He's not going to back up. What guts by Morales. He straights Pacquiao with right hands, even while on unsteady feet. And he is hurt. And he holds on for one of the first times in his career. He 30 seconds to go. Another huge left hand by Pacquiao. Punch after punch after punch. And he wants to finish Morales right here. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. down of the fight by Pacquiao against Morales. He doesn't want to get Eric up. Morales shakes his head as if to say, I want no more. That is that. Nick Dracula stops the fight. Manny Pacquiao has the knockout. He looked into the corner, looking for his father, as if to say, Pop, I tried my best. I the winner by knockout victory, the fighting pride of the Philippines, still champion. Manny Pacman Some tickets sold, more outside clamoring to get in even as the first bell is sounded. Last week we went to a so-called heavyweight championship fight which could never have sold this many tickets or aroused any passion at all. And the passion here, it's thick enough for you to feel it. Round one begins. They waited years. Tapia loves to start fast. Tapia digging to the body with two left hooks and smiling as Romero lands a counter left. Hard left hook inside by Romero. Tapia drops his hands and stares. Romero up and under with the right hand. Both fighters seem to have burned off the initial Smenic energy buzz. 
They're settling into a groove, and Donny Tapia is proving surprisingly effective inside with counter body shots. His dad telling him between the second and third rounds that he ought to dispense with the looping right. Tapia lands a hard right hand counter as the third round comes to a close and celebrates by leaping into the air. We look forward to seeing you September 13 against Hector Macho Camacho. I will be there, and I will be ready. <laughs> On TV, Dale. Tapia lands a left hook to the body. Crowd going wild. Romero seeming to try to get him closer in this round. And now the thing's going on. Hard right hand across the top by Tapia. He's been remarkably effective in landing power punches. And he digs to the body one more time. Tapia taunting Romero for the benefit of the largely pro Johnny Tapia crowd. Step back, step back, stay, step back, step back to six. Look. Very important for Tapia not to be moved backwards. Right hand after the bell by Tapia. Warning number one from Mitch Alfred. Early rounds appeared to belong to Tapia. Romero landing more and more power shots like that and gaining the favor of more and more of the crowd. Romero blocking those shots by Tapia. Johnny hadn't been able to do much here in round six. Left. Romero more than double Tapia on power shots in the sixth, and he starts the sixth with a right hand. His glove hit the canvas, but Halpern's not gonna rule it a knockdown. He warns him not to put his gloves on the canvas when he clowns. He could've ruled that a knockdown. Believe me. What Romero is starting to do now is making Tapia get his feet crossed together. Johnny showed his sportsmanship there. Had a chance to load the trained skills of the two fighters. I'm not sure that everybody interested in this fight understands trained skills. It's been a dynamite fight. It's been a terrific fight tonight. Oh, man. Hard left hook to the body by Tapia. Crowd trying to lift their man. To pull this fight out, which means at least a knockdown. And he doesn't look like he can get it. Tapia's charisma, not an inconsiderable factor down the stretch. It has been, as Larry pointed out, a tactical boxing match all the way. In one sense, Jim, both men have so much invested in this that they're almost afraid to lose 12 rounds of his career. Well, you remember, Jim, early, before the fight, I said he's a, he is an underrated boxer. He has boxing skills. The scorecard said, ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the judges at ringside. Judge Dr. Clark San Martino scores it 116-112.